Hello and welcome to the Badimat YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Ulua Shei Salako. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to embroider towels using the floating method. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're heading to a thousand subscribers by the 30th of May. This is my wish for my birthday and I hope you'll be able to give me a birthday gift by subscribing. And if you're not new, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Have you ever had trouble with hooping your towels? Every time you hoop the towel when it's in the machine, it pops out? Or you find the towels too thick and so you've been doing just thin towels? This is a solution to all those problems. You won't have to avoid thick towels anymore because you can float them and embroider properly. The floating method is a method that allows us to hoop only the stabilizer would only have to hoop a stabilizer into our hoop and then we we'll float our towels on top holding it down with pins towels are one of my favorite things to make but i've been making a lot of towels recently and i've been floating all of them my towels and i've been floating them so today I decided since I was putting up a new listing into my Etsy shop, which is a personalized dog towel, I would like you to see how I float my towels. Let's get straight into this tutorial after the intro. For this pet towel which I went to embroider, I have chosen a hand towel because this is what I want to list on my Etsy shop, a hand towel. To float the hand towel, the first thing we do is to hoop the stabilizer. We have to hoop the stabilizer. I am using a tear away stabilizer today. So I hoop the stabilizer first. We have to hoop this properly because that's the only material we're going to be hooping today. We'll float every other thing today. So we have to make sure that the stabilizer is properly hooped in the hoop. So now we have the stabilizer hooped. This is a tear away stabilizer. If um, I'm doing my towels, I usually use a tear away stabilizer so that the back could be as neat as the front, even though we're not going to be embroidering on the back. But the back won't be that rough but if we use the if we use the cutaway stabilizer then stabilizer will have to remain at the back of the towel that's why i use cut tear away stabilizer for my towels now for us to get the middle of this towel we have to open it i would usually embroider which i think is the is the norm in the the craft world to embroider on top of this line on top of the i don't know what that's called but we usually on top embroider on top of this in the middle so that when you fold the towel in half ways your embroidery can be right at the center there your embroidery will be just up there that is why we embroider up here so now in order to be able to get the, the design to be right up here we want to look for the middle of this towel and this is how i do mine i fold the towel into half long side so i'm folding my hand towel long side and i go i'll embroider on the opposite side of where i have the tag so i'm embroidering on the opposite side of this but i am folding it on the wrong side now this is the wrong side because when i open it i want to open it on the right side so that i'll be able to embroider on the right side this side so that's why i'm folding it this way to get the middle now we have the middle of the towel there this is the middle of the towel then i choose what side of the hoop i want my towel to face right now i want my towel to face this way which is this way then all I need to do is to bring my towel and I bring it where I want the embroidery to start. That is where I put down there and flatten it to be sure we have to flatten it that way. Then we open 
If you do not do this, you might not get the center of the towel. You want to be sure you're lining both centers at the same time. We put it that way. Make sure it's flattened so that there will be no bulk inside it. Then we open the towel. When you open, you're having the middle at the middle of the hoop already. So all you need to do from now is to just pin it down or hook. I have these pins that came with my Genomi embroidery machine. So I usually just put four on the side. Then I use pin. I use pin at the very edge where I know my machine would not be going there. I do not use adhesive spray because my machine and any machine does not agree well with adhesive spray. But if you want the temporary spray, why not? You could just spray it before you open the towel. You could spray. If you are using the spray, first you spray here. Please take it away from your machines. Temporary sprays or any kind of sprays are not good for our machine, especially the one that has glue on them. So if you were, I'll start over again for if you were to use the spray. If you were to use the spray, why you do this? All you need to do is look for the middle, putting it down. While you put this down, you press this side because there is spray there. This side will glue down. The, the temporary adhesive would adhere to the towel this way. Then you open and press down again to adhere to all the other sides. I am not using the adhesive spray. I am only using my pins today. So what I'm going to do is make sure my towel is right at the edge there and in the middle and flatten it out as if I'm patting it to the spray, if there was a spray there. Then I open and I do the same thing. Right now, what I'll do is use my, my clips to hold them down. I'll hold the hand towel down with my clips. And I'll also pin, I use pins as well. I'll also pin the edges, the four sides. I will pin the four sides. That is to be sure that even if anything happens while I'm embroidering, my, my towel still stays in place and I wouldn't lose anything. I do. Now we put the pins. Put as much pin as you can, just to make sure it's down. But please make sure the pins are out of the way because pins as well are not good for our machine, can wreck the machine as well. You do not want your, your needle to get broken because it's, it's because of the pin you put into the machine. Now we're ready to embroider our towel. That's it. That's it all hooped and we can't pin it. It's just very good, well hooped. Let's meet at the machine, please, so that we can embroider. Now that we have our towels all floated and it's on the machine, we want to be sure our pins are out of the way. Make sure pins are out of the way. And to embroider a towel, it is really, really important to put a water soluble stabilizer because our towel has piles all this hair might get caught in the in the machine that is why we hold it down with this so i'll place my water soluble stabilizer my water soluble stabilizer can also be floated if you don't feel safe floating your water soluble stabilizer you can add a pin or 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 hoop it or clip it down like i have the clip here but my water soluble stabilizer stays in place i really don't know the name of this water soluble stabilizer because i got it from a local shop but when i was using the Soki brand i had to hold it down because that was very very thin this one is a little bit 
thick but it's not that thick anyway because it's water soluble it will still melt but it can stay on its own now we are ready to embroider a towel and embroidered on it isn't this lovely and everything is just as it, sh it should be thank you so much for staying to the end of this video one tips i would like to give to you when you're floating is make sure whatever you're floating is way way flat on the in the hoop if you're able to pick it up or pinch it up then it's the machine is going to pick it up as well and it's going to mess your embroidery it's going to mess your project please that is a very good trick and also your pins put it away from where your needle is coming if your needle poke on the pins it's going to destroy or even make your machine misbehave i don't know misalign yes something like that so thank you so much if you like this and you don't want to make it yourself you can find it on my etsy page and you can buy it from there if not make your own and tag me on my facebook page or even on instagram please tag me and let's see your own thank you so much for staying to the end of this video please like share and subscribe thank you